Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry taking a look at PC performance on Just Cause 3 and we're kicking off the action with the same scenes compared on a GeForce GTX 960 stacked up against a Radeon R9 380. Now this is an interesting comparison because at a hardware level the AMD card has shown that it's tangibly more powerful than its Nvidia counterpart in many games and on the face of it that's exactly what we're seeing here with both cards powered by a core i5 4690K running at stock frequencies. War stats are illuminating, average frame rate for the 380 is 50.3 FPS while the Nvidia card is 47.5 FPS. Now this isn't quite indicative of the in the moment gameplay that we're seeing here where the AMD card really seems to take point and it's an interesting example of how average frame rate metrics are no replacement for actually seeing performance as it plays out before your eyes. So what's going on? Well a comparison of lowest recorded frame rates is interesting. We clock the GTX 960 at 38 FPS but the R9 380 is lower, 33 FPS. What's happening is that while the AMD card is absolutely fine during much of the gameplay sequences we have here, you'll note some large latency spikes if you pay careful attention to the frame time graph. This can hit anything up to 50 milliseconds on the AMD card. It can occasionally manifest on Nvidia hardware but it's very very rare, whereas the cores on AMD cards is readily easy to see. Moving into new map areas at speed can cause the spikes, but more often than not you'll note that the stutter occurs simultaneously with an on-screen explosion. This final segment's quite remarkable. When the minigun isn't firing, you can see that the R9380 runs faster than the GTX 960, but look what happens when we open fire. Sustained fire depresses performance significantly, whereas the GeForce card remains unaffected. In an action-packed game like Just Cause 3, the implications are readily apparent. So we've heard that some people have been having real performance issues with the game and it often seems to be the case that they're running AMD CPUs in combination with AMD GPUs. So we thought we'd check out i5 versus FX8350 performance with these cards. Let's kick off with the CPU comparison with the GTX 960. Now this is quite interesting, you'll see that with the AMD chip, occasionally the GTX 960 can produce latency spikes that we just don't see when running it with the i5. Not only that, but the Intel chip hands in anything up to a 10 FPS advantage in like for like gameplay. So if we put everything together, we can perhaps explain why some people are getting poor performance. If an FX8350 incurs latency hits on occasion and Radeon graphics hardware also produce latency spikes, what happens if you own both? Well let's take a look right here. Basically you get a combination of stutter seemingly sourced from both components. So that's where we're at with Just Cause 3 right now. We've profiled a big bunch of graphics hardware and we'll try to get the results out as soon as we can. But in the meantime give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying our work and of course subscribe so you don't miss a thing. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.